doing great and doing good um i don't know if the camera angle is fine but why are there so many like people but yeah i don't know if the camera angle is fine i think it is because i don't like it when the entire like pre-staring area is showing i don't know if that makes sense but i changed the angle today today my tripod is cooperating which is weird because literally it wasn't last weekend it was at a very weird angle even though it still didn't drop but like you know what i mean so yeah but i hope you are all doing great you guys hope you're all at home hope you're all having a I don't know why I'm, I think it's weird again but, but I feel like because I don't drive every single day because like I live on campus so I walk to class every single day I only ever drive like over the weekend so it always feels like it's something new whenever I like start driving and stuff like that but I don't know why bro I feel like the angle is not the best today I'll fix it when I get to my first destination so anyway hey guys welcome back to my youtube it's here again with an interesting video for you yeah you guys know the intro um <laughs> um yeah so today's video is basically going to be talking about the selflessness of self-care as i go on a solo date today today is all about me and i feel like i i feel like today's topic would have made more sense with last week's video to be honest I always lock the doors when I get to this, like the, to certain parts of town and like Lusaka because see, guys, I don't want to be robbed or stolen from. The bus in front of me is moving so slowly. I just want to like overtake it. Cause like, why are you driving so slowly, dude? Like why? But I have to stay in this lane. I will eventually switch. And anyway, there's no rush today. Today, no road rage. Okay, if I do road rage, you guys should beat me in the comments. <laughs> um, but yeah anyway as i was saying today's topic is basically going to be the selflessness of self-care inspired by the bible class that i'm still currently reading. actually i finished reading it like three days ago the exact same one i linked in my video last weekend there were so many like different aspects to that video that i feel like were really you know like they were really good and for that reason i'm still going to link it even in today's video i will still link it down below so you know, I want to switch lanes. I should have done that like a long time ago because literally like there's a car like next to me, coming behind me. But um, yeah, okay. I'm staying this side because I'm going to eventually have to um, turn left. So yeah. But anywho, like I was saying, um, the substances of self-care. And I feel like you know it's really really important for everybody you know whether you're 10 years old whether you're 15 whether you're pushing 30 to give yourself some time off and take yourself out for self-care i feel like like i was saying this topic was going to have resonated so much with last what i was doing last week's video but last week was like more of maintenance and less of self-care this time it's more of you know self-care and less of maintenance because like i really look good so you know yeah um, but I said that basically I just wanted to talk to you guys about this and it's inspired by the Bible like I said that I'm currently reading and so because of that because of that I felt like it was going to really make sense because I'm doing like a like a solo solo date sort of situation today so before I tell you guys what I, what it is I'm doing and where it is I'm going I am just basically going to yeah I don't read newspapers so I don't... <laughs> and it's so bad that I don't read newspapers because I'm supposed to be keeping up with current affairs that's why I have my phone like I can't how much is a newspaper these days you know I don't know how much a lot of necessities cost just yesterday I was buying like some new bras and underwear because I have a very bad habit of not buying things I need because I feel like they're too expensive like yo two bras are like 250 like nah no. but I get my bras from Mr. Price I would get them from like places like Woolworths. Those have Woolworths has got like the best bras and like the best underwear and everything, but it's just that's the guard that came and literally sat right here. 
Like why? I've been pretending to be leaving my car because like why did you come and sit so close to me? And then you know like the windows were literally open when I was when I was going. He's weird. He's very weird. Anyway, I'm entering Manda Hill now. I want to take pictures in a mirror that I'm going to find. So I hope some clothes stores are open because I want to start with going to LC Waikiki and like checking if it's going to be open because I want to take some mirror selfies for the thumbnail obviously and for IG because you guys know I'm all about the content and I feel like it's quite nice when oh the angle from this side is nice right it is so eh, but eh, this side I there's I it's uncomfortable vlogging from this side while I'm driving because the tripod is best like here so bear with me or i'll probably be driving facing a different direction when i'm going to east park oh yeah i'm going to east park after this <laughs> so yeah it's i literally left school at like eight because today there's vida e cafe here oh yeah it's in shop right because like i want like i said a full day to myself so yeah i'm going to start with going to lc waikiki because i want to take some some pictures in the mirror and then i'm probably going to just walk around the mall and see what it has to offer and yeah so let's let's get it let's go why is the car so dirty it was ringing I'm going to start the shop right because I doubt LC Waikiki is open. I feel like most stores open at like 9, which is in like an hour's time. So, perfect. Guys, this is fun. There's actually real people.
wonder who you might have been playing with Makes me wonder who you think playing with I'm just a myself to keep playing this record back over and over again Sweat change, but I know this is the end
guys i'm telling you if you ever want to like be alone when shopping come in the morning because <laughs> like look at how nice these fitting rooms are like I look so pretty. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I'm done. Now I'm going heading out, going to East Park, so yeah. Now everybody go job breakfast. I have to say bye bye yo. Bye bye yo. To the love of my life. My yo. Don't cry yo. I need people I shall 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 yo. Can you guys believe that literally the like literally like mid me recording and talking to you guys about today's topic it wasn't recording like at all so I don't know where I don't know but um yeah I'm leaving Manda Hill now so Yeah. Anyway, guys, there's literally like this. Guys, there's this guard car. I don't know what he was literally chilling by my car, and I'm just like, dude, what are you doing? You know what I mean? It's kind of blurry, so I hope I'm not looking blurry, but like my screen is looking dirty. But um, before I talk to you guys about today's topic, because I don't really know where it ended, so I'll just edit it in a way that it's going to make sense. But oh, the lighting from here is so good. I hope this is the direction I'm going because I'm going to East Park now. When I was coming in the morning, the sun was doing a little bit too much. So yeah. But anyway, um, I was buying my groceries, like I said, and I was window shopping because I didn't take pictures in there. I put my groceries in the in the boot. I hope they don't drop. And I went to take pictures in the changing room because, well, why not? <laughs> why not? Um, but yeah, so today's topic basically, I'm still at Manda Hill. I'm literally leaving right now. I was doing um, some hygiene shopping as well. So I was showing you guys what I buy in terms of hygiene because I realized that I don't really talk to you guys a lot about feminine stuff. And I feel like I should because I feel like there's so many young girls on here that may not necessarily know what they need in terms of hygiene whatnot so that's kind of what i'm here for i'm big sis z you know what i mean you know what i mean you guys know the vibes so yeah i, I think i'm going to take selfies when i get to east park because like this lighting is top notch anyway yeah guys so like i was saying the topic for today is the selflessness of self-care i think i briefly introduced it like earlier on but like i said the bible verse for today is psalms 127 verse 2 that basically says god gives rest god gives rest to those that he loves right and i was talking about how a lot of christians have got this common misconception that self-care is selfish when it in reality it really isn't selfish and i feel like we need to let go of that notion because you can't pour from an empty cup and i always emphasize this because i feel like the reason why the windows are open is because my ac is not working so i'm dealing with i'm using lots of uh, drive slowly it's a highway can you hurry up oh, ha. guys i'm so sorry i'm so sorry but yeah i feel like um yeah you literally cannot pour from an empty cup like you literally can't and i feel like it's really important to take care of yourself first so that you can be a more efficient friend a more efficient partner a more efficient mother if there's any mother watching this and i just feel like yeah it's really really but it doesn't matter how old you are it doesn't really matter how old you are. 
self-care is important for everybody whether you're 10 whether you're 17 pushing 18 to become a young adult whether you're a young adult like some of us you know late teens early 20s whether you're 30 self-care is extremely important and i stress this in my videos so much because you need to take care of yourself do something that you love doing go out for coffee take yourself out shopping i'm not saying that you should completely like neglect your friends because it's very important that you be there for your friends basically but you also have to be there in as much as they're there for your friends and as much as you're like buying your friends stuff and that kind of thing why don't people at the roundabout stop you're supposed to stop at the roundabout so that we are the ones that have right of way yeah um i feel like you cannot pour from an empty cup and it makes you know it makes giving even easier when you've given to yourself first you know what i mean so yeah i can feel like the stuff in the boot is like moving i hope it's not my my ketchup and tomato sauce because literally i what did i do i put my like i bought glass bottles today so i hope they don't break like my mayonnaise and stuff i don't know i like putting things in the boot and i put them in the back seat but i just feel like for security purposes it's better just to put them in the boot and tell me why the guard was actually looking into the car like what are you looking for i don't have anything to you know you know one thing i hate i hate it when like you're driving and then you look at the people that are like the vendors along the streets guys when you look at them i feel like they assume they're going to buy i'm just looking at what you have to offer i'm not buying but yeah um anyway like i was saying so basically that's just the tea on self-care and i feel like it's very important because everybody deserves an ounce of self-love like don't feel bad for making yourself giving yourself time to breathe and i know the it can be hard especially when it comes to like your friends when you're like no but i'm i don't want to let down my friends and that kind of thing like be there for them but be there for you more okay it's okay to say no and put up some boundaries so that you can allow yourself to breathe because like i'm sure you guys have noticed a shift in my content as well like i said even last week i'm trying to join my company more often and i'll be taking you guys along basically like my self-love journeys and everything and i just feel like i'm in my it girl era man like this video is literally going to be like my it girl era because i've gotten to a point in my life where i am so happy and pleased with how everything that i'm doing is going despite the fact that i have so many like goals to achieve but i'm happy with where i'm at as a person right now so yeah i am looking for parking i'm going to mocha and chai first before i proceed to before i proceed to check if they bought potatoes can you believe the shop right at monday who didn't have potatoes and potatoes are literally like my staple food i cannot live without I want to park in reverse. I want to park in reverse. I do not like parking facing the same side. Oh, this is great, 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 great. Yeah, perfect. So we're here now. My phone's overheating, obviously. You know, I've got a bad habit of like switching off the car before I switch gears into park. So, yeah, but let's go to Mocha and Chai, guys. Mm. This tripod is working. I'm so happy I bought it off the streets, bro. I need to spray a bit. Cause, yeah, I smell quite bad right now. Not bad, but like, where can I put you? It wasn't freaking recording. We are at East Park now, guys. Um, I just needed to spray a bit because. I wasn't smelling like I was smelling low key of sweat, like not low key, but you know, I think I'm just over over critical, eh? but in your handbag, ladies, please, please carry perfume, carry wipes. I was actually buying wipes today. I'm sure you guys so carry a pad, a panty liner. You guys need to up your game with your hygiene. OK, you need to make sure that you're always smelling nice. I literally hate it when a girl is so pretty and then she passes smelling like sweat, like mm -mm. Do that. I carry my laptop as well. I brought my laptop with me because I'm going to do a little bit of studying. <laughs> if you guys know, like literally, I fail to study in cafes. Most of the time, I'm just make, making like cute videos and that kind of thing. But most of the time, I'm not actually studying. I'm just playing around. 
So yeah. Is it is good. a plain croissant and some margarine. So I am back in the car and literally I bought this um, drink from, I was going to go and buy a designer drink from Nando's because after drinking the creme brulee coffee from Mocha and Chai, it's like really sweet and I wanted to basically buy something to water, to water me down, you know what I mean? So I bought this um, drink instead from Woolworths. I don't know, I've not tasted it before, but this is a ruby grapefruit, sparkling 6% grapefruit drink. It was 21 kochak when you were done be asking. It was from Worth. Worth food at East Park. I tried to take selfies because the selfies literally didn't look nice, but I look nice while vlogging, so I don't know, that doesn't make sense, but let's do a taste test. <laughs> So I need to buy tissues. I need to buy tissues for the car. This is so hard to open, bro. I'm literally not going to leave until I open this. Oh my gosh. Why is it so hard to open? Damn, I really wanted to taste this with you guys before I leave. Yeah. <laughs> this is so crazy. Let me try and this. I hate it when, like, you know, in shops, when they tie the plastic bag from, like, another shop. Because I like using my plastic bags for garbage at school. This is so hard to open. It's literally like no one I can ask to open this for me. Like, literally. Cause I want to drink this on my way back to school. I'm looking for a guard. I managed to ask somebody <laughs> to open the drink for me because I eat. Guys, just ask. Don't be feeling my one. Okay, okay. It's not as sweet as I was expecting it to be. But I think after drinking after drinking such sweet coffee it's like perfect so i'll give it a nine no the aftertaste it's grapefruit i don't really like grapefruit but the color looked pretty so i'll give it a an 8.5 so yeah anywho let's get back guys i am in my it girl era i am literally telling you there's so much traffic at East Park, but I'm so glad I started my day. At least this is why I start my days in the morning, because provided I left school at like 11, this is now, I've literally been out for like four hours, so. Yeah, but you guys, I am, I am in my it girl era, and I'm having such a blast. My solo date went super well. I was watching Outer Banks. I'll show you guys all the clips I managed to record. This is actually the first time I can say I have successfully vlogged over 45 minutes worth of footage in a day and I've, I've been trying my best to keep my vlogs raw but still like edit them and make them cute for you guys because i kind of like the unfiltered content to be honest so yeah
I would take self I'm not, I'm not ready to do that right now. So like, I just want to like leave. There's so many cars, bro. Mm -hmm. It's clear. Do you all see the beauty of parking in reverse? You just leave. You don't really like feel the whole like you know when coming out of the shop what am i saying when coming out of the place the parking space <laughs> but yeah guys yeah yeah can you guys an embarrassing story what happened to me some time back so when i just started driving right like that was literally when i the time i was going to get my thank you cards guys that i keep on bringing up that time when i was driving because <laughs> It was my one so literally right i was i was driving like i was you guys know like there's that part you know when you're joining great east road like as if you're going to north mid right so like there's that cross junction when you're coming from roads park side and everything so literally literally i I basically wanted to give the person who was like coming towards me way because I personally like giving people away. It's just that there are certain places that I can't give people away. Like at the why do men stare like they've never seen a pretty girl before? Yeah, I like giving people away because I mean even people some people give me away. It's just that intercity where I will never give people away there. No. There I'm a veteran. But yeah, so basically mm, I was trying to give the person coming like who was on coming like way right so you know how like drivers do that thing where they flash the lights like pa -pa, like you know the lights <laughs> tell me why I switched on that thing for water for the wipers it was so embarrassing because I think he like no 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 I think he actually gave me way let me correct myself he actually gave me way right so I was trying to say thank you by yeah flashing the lights and everything why did I sit on the water the water for the wipers for the windscreen why did I do that I was so embarrassed and I felt like you know people could even tell okay she's new to driving in Osaka because that day I think I almost bashed somebody like three freaking times and it was so crazy it was so crazy but anyways yeah so like back to the self-care thing guys enjoy yourself okay take yourself out you deserve it hmm? i don't drink alcohol but this gave me alcohol vibes like real i feel like using this side more. i don't want to use greatest road I don't I literally if there's a way I can avoid Greatest Road I would definitely avoid it because I hate it literally I just feel like it's so dry I don't need to go anywhere because I feel like I've bought everything I need to be honest so yeah there's so much oncoming traffic from this side I think you guys can even see the why did I do that? Oh, I'm in a car when they're like, not walking. Like there was someone passing a cable on top. But anyways, yeah, guys. Mm, basically, take yourself out on a solo date. I feel so recharged right now because my social battery died. You know, because of going to class every single day. And that's also one of the reasons why I kind of prefer to leave school during the weekend as opposed to during the week. Because there is way less... What's going on here? Osaka, you people here for, here for cycling. <laughs> I just saw like this pretty girl in the car and she's got like, like five people that are not of color in her back seat. I'm saying that because I feel like if I say YouTube people, like it would be kind of sus to sound like racist, but yeah, anyways. Um, yeah, guys, so basically, take yourself out on a solo date. 
Let me fix the camera angle. Okay, then I'll do it. That that's fine. Take yourself out on a solo date. Enjoy your. Okay. Take yourself out on a solo date. Enjoy your own company and have a have a blast, guys. I feel so rejuvenated now. Please God, I hope it was recording because this thing has stopped recording so many times. So I really hope it was recording. But yeah, I'm on my way back to school now. My agenda for the rest of the day. I have a class at 14 hours. Yes, on Saturday, guys. I'm so busy with class. It's even sad. Like it really is sad. To be honest. But it's okay because my grades. Your girl got 95 percent in her mock exam that I wrote like three days ago. So it's like paying off. I love how people in Osaka give way, man. Like you guys, you guys are not driving in Kitwe. In Kitwe, people giving me way in Kitwe. That's not happening. That is not happening. And like, don't get me wrong. I feel like Kitwe drivers are just like a different breed of drivers. Now this is such a perfect angle. Kitwe drivers are such a different breed of drivers. Like Kitwe drivers are just rough, man. Anyway, I understand what there are both of us there. So yeah, but like no Osaka drivers, I give you guys a. In terms of being courteous on the road, you guys are it. You guys are it. Even when there's no traffic lights, y'all will still give people away. Like that's such um, th that's really amazing. Like it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. But yeah, so I've had such a great day. Your girl today, I have vlogged in public. Like I feel like I've honestly. Gotten from the time I started blogging in public till now, I think I've gotten pretty good at that to be honest. Because, like, even just in the car when I'm talking, like right now, yeah, people would look at me weird, especially if they see that there's been a rain. Why? Why is it raining? Anyway, it's calm, it's calm. Um, at least I'm done with my day. At least I'm done. And I carried my umbrella just in case. Oh, so yeah. But I've had a really great day today. Like I feel so now I can go and chill with my friends. This is what I was basically talking about. Like I feel like excuse me. We get so caught up with um we get so caught up trying to please our friends and trying to please people that you also kind of forget about yourself but let me tell you something girl take yourself out and self self care oh the selflessness of self care self care is not selfish yeah i'm in my it girl era like i haven't listened to music the whole way vlogging for you guys but it's still good so yeah my you know that this car is so good on fuel because i literally the last time i put fuel was last weekend and i put a quarter tank and um, i put a half a tank yeah i put half a tank of fuel last weekend and it's literally just below quarter and last weekend i moved quite a lot because i went to do my hair then i went to do my nails and then i went out for breakfast so I moved quite a lot last weekend but the fuel gauge is really like right below quarter so it's pretty all right it's pretty all right yeah but i'm going to refill the tank tomorrow because i'm going to church with one of my friends so yeah, i'm going to church with one of my friends tomorrow so I will fill the tank then. So I'll fill the tank then. I'm not going to vlog. I don't really... I don't like vlogging certain aspects of my life. Like where I work. Where I go to church. But I'll tell you guys. I go to Mount Zion. I can tell you guys now. Because I only go to watch this video on Tuesday. And the possibility of you guys coming to church tomorrow. Maybe. I don't know if some of you guys go to Mount Zion. But I go to Mount Zion. I used to go to Miracle Life um, when I, last time I was in Osaka. But Miracle Life, first of all, is far. It's like all the way in Roma. Like it's near Roma, that side. And yeah, no. But Mount Zion is equally far. Okay, Mount Zion is like in Kablonga. I don't know what area that is. But yeah, it's literally raining, like it's pouring. I'll have to wait in the car for the rain to stop. I have to carry my groceries. I mean, to my room. So, 
Yeah. But I love Mount Zion. And like when I went to church the other Sunday, he was basically talking about how we have to own our space. And that's the reason why I'm actually going back because one of my friends, um, she, she invited me to go to church with her. Like, because I'm sure you guys know, I've said this before in one of my videos that I'm not really big on like going to church because I'm using it by denomination. I do not like it. Like, I'm not going to come. No offense to anyone who goes to UCZ because I've been going to UCZ the time I was like a baby. But like when I became old enough to actually choose what church I wanted to go to, I found it really, really hard to choose a church because finding a church is so crazy. Like it's just finding one that actually speaks to you is really hard. People don't talk about that often. It's really hard. So when she invited me to go to church with her, she's like, "No, I go to Mount Zion. It's a Pentecostal church. I love Pentecostal churches. Like if I would, if if I could be a Pentecostal church, I would. Like I love Pentecostal churches so much. Cause I just feel like they 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 just make sense. You know, one thing I don't like about my ah, you wait. Oh, I'm sorry about that. One thing I don't like about my church is that first of all one when it comes to the dress code it's too formal okay me for me one day if i can't come to be if you dress up casual i'm not gonna go because the way i dress speaks to me as a person and my comfortability also has to be one so i hope you guys can hear me because it's literally like raining and pouring outside right now so yeah if i cannot dress comfortably where i'm going i will not go and that's the biggest problem i had because you guys know i hate dresses maybe when i turn 20 in september i will start wearing dresses and heels but like for now i'm still 90 let me enjoy my jeans <laughs> okay so that's like one of the biggest problems because they were really strict with the dress code which is i mean it's quite it's expected because it's strict but like let us wear uh, wait, wait, wait oh yeah let us wear let me turn on the ac because what the hell yeah yeah oh it's working oh my friend fixed it for me ah guys i wish i turned this out earlier <laughs> oh yeah so like yeah pentecostal churches i like mount zion and miracle life because i can wear jeans i can freaking wear jeans to church and no one would because that's the you know i can wear pants like i've got no problem with formal wear because even when i like when going for work when i do start like working like full time because you guys know like i'm an accountant i'm, 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 an accountant. I'm a chartered accountant i'm manifesting that right now while i you know still a student yeah when i start actually like okay before i brush this guy when I start actually like going for work full time, I'll be wearing pants and platform shoes. You will never catch me in heels. And that's the way I dress when I to church, basically. Like the other time I wore like these mom jeans and this very tall. So that's basically, that's like my dress code, guys. Me, mm -mm, dresses, yeah. So I got to Mount Zion and I really liked it. He's talking about owning a space and basically he was saying that each of us has got a purpose and we have to stop being afraid of what people are gonna say about our talents and what we're good at because each person has got their own space to occupy in this life. And another thing that I remember posting was, stay in your lane, guys. There's no traffic in your lane. There's no traffic. Just like the way I'm driving, I'm gonna stay in my lane. Because there's no traffic, you know. If you're constantly copying what someone else is doing, what someone else is wearing, you will never feel fulfilled. But if you stay in your lane, stick to what you like as a person, you find that there's no competition. The only competition is yourself, and that's exactly how it's supposed to be. Hi, can you please go? You know, one thing I don't like about riders is that it, as a car is big. Yeah, I said no road rage, Monday I failed. <laughs> so yeah, owning your space, it's very, very crucial and important to really own your space because you need to first of all ask God to guide you and tell you what your space is and then own it. You know, that's why I'm really, I'm in such a point in my life where I'm like, there's no one that I feel intimidated by. There's no one that I feel in competition with. There's no one I compare myself to but myself because I'm the standard that I've set for myself. So if I slack here and there, I know I'm, I'm going to hold myself accountable and I'm going to make sure that I do whatever I can to fix that situation. 
but I will never compare my success, my failures, my path in life to somebody else because at the end of the day, that person is never going to be me and I will never be there, you know. And I feel like it's also, it really helps. You know, when you see your friends winning, I feel nice when I see my friends winning. I'm not going to lie, there was a point in my life where when I see people winning, I used to feel jealous because I used to feel like, why is this person, especially if it's something that I also want to achieve, something that I've been working years and years to achieve, and then someone gets it like just like that i'm like that's something that i want to do how come they have it and not me and through constant prayer conversations with god and with my boyfriend you know i've learned that everybody has got their own time everybody has got their own paths in life you know i also have yeah i've splashed people money sorry if i've splashed you there's no space in the road <laughs> everyone has got their own timing everybody has got their own things you know what I mean? So it's very important to like really take a step back and appreciate where you are in your eh, this guy behind. Don't bash me, I beg. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah. So that's that basically. But I'm going to school like I was saying about the class at 14 hours. It's a two hour class and then I have I'm hosting a mentorship class as well. Did I cry my child? I hope I cry, but I'm not going back to this part again. Um, I've got a mentorship class to host at 16 hours. So basically I have a full day ahead of me, but that's fine. Today was really productive. I'm not going to, this is where the vlog is going to end. Because like I said, it's a day vlog. You guys spent the day with me. So I'm not going to record what I'm going to do the rest of the day. But that's just what I'm basically going to do. And then I'm also going to edit this video because I need this video to be up. I need it to be done editing by tomorrow night. And I have some free time like right now because I already ate while I was... Um, I deliberately turn on my heart to pull him and make it slow down, like relax. Yeah, I have some free time right now because that croissant and coffee was filling, and then I also have some free time after my the classes I'm hosting and my class, so I have some free time to like get it and stuff. So. Yeah, I will. I want to get all my content out today. I'll put the pictures that I took in the changing room on the screen so you guys can see. But yeah, so I will end the vlog. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, you know what to do, and come back for another banger. I put up a question tag, I forgot to say, I put up a question tag on my Instagram yesterday asking you guys what type of content you guys enjoy watching. And you guys are like, we love, some people, literally most of you are like, we enjoy everything as long as the Z. I was so chuffed because I did that just to kind of get a feel of what you guys like as, you know, my subscribers, my supporters, everything. Because I want to make sure that I'm delivering content. Not only that I like, but that you guys also like and be inspired by it. And this other girl was like, we love your motivational videos. And another girl was like, we love your weekly vlogs. We understand that, you know, you're in school now, which is great. We have to understand that I'm extremely busy. So, yeah, when you get a video, feel nice and rewatch it 10 times because the video is not going to be guaranteed for next week. <laughs> but yeah, I will definitely be giving you guys videos when I can, that's for sure, because I love you guys so much. And you guys have been supporting me for a very long time. So, yeah. But anywho, I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, I said, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. I love reading your comments and responding to them. Makes me feel closer to you guys. That's my family. You know what I do. But take yourself on a solo date. You deserve it. So I will see you guys in my next one.